Do you want to introduce yourself? Or shall I? Okay, shall we angle the camera down so you can see you a bit better? So, hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel, Curiosity Wax. This is Jet. Um, this video is week six in my dear YouTube series. Week 6 covers February um, the 8th to February the 14th. So I got um, a bit behind with filling in my um, planner so I had to sort of retro fill it in. So there's, I haven't really put much on the Monday. So I do have the food diary and I ate coffee and cornflakes and spinach and cotta ready meal. I, been ordering some new um, stickers from Etsy and I got new ones for the dinner time ones because I've got those now and they're cute. I really like kawaii stickers in this particular planner but I don't like people stickers. My people stickers are for my other planner which I'll probably show you perhaps next week when I um, talk about week seven. So Anyway, so yeah, a coffee cornflakes, spinach and cotton ready meal, which is my favourite ready meal. Um, so on Tuesday I got mail, I got um, my Etsy stickers arrived. I forgot, I, I forgot to um, write down which shop they came from though. So, but I might, if you want me to do a, um, a video about my binder of Etsy of stickers that I've got then just leave a comment. So Tuesday was pancake day and we had homemade pancakes and mum made the batter from scratch and they were amazing. I had made sure to have the lightest shade of pancake because I don't really like burnt bits on my pancakes and they were amazing and they could have had loads more pancakes on the Wednesday. I love pancake day. It's really fun. So, on the Wednesday, let's do the food diary first. I ate coffee and cornflakes, egg and cress sandwiches, prawn cocktail crisps and tomato soup. I like to dip my sandwiches in my soup. It's really tasty. So, um, on the Wednesday, I completed reading Divided Kingdom which is a really cool sort of um, dystopian what if book about um, Britain and I created I was a bit I need to draw something so but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do so I thought maybe I'd start doing Illustration Friday again because I used to dabble in Illustration Friday but then I sort of did other stuff for a while so I've gone back to doing Illustration Friday and it's real fun so I created a picture about um, called that you get a keyword and you have to create a picture you can do make a picture of anything as long as it relates to the keyword so the keyword was mystery so I created a picture of me at first I want to show what to do and then when I just um, woke up from sleep for I had this visual of what I could do for it. So it's me reading a magic eye book and I, I drew the eyes so it was like doing my magic eye and then there's this hand coming out from a choose your own adventure book and the idea is that you get pulled into the choose your own adventure book and as you go through this place where the choose your own adventure book is you get the the signs like this is page whatever and this go through here for page whatever and you're inside the choose your own adventure book so it's like and it's sort of set the picture is set in a bookshop so that's what i drew so that's on my blog Um, for YouTube, I uploaded the January Buddy Box and the January My Geek Box, which had the Legends theme. 
So on Thursday 11th, my mail was the Liz Clymo book because I found out about her books on Twitter and they're just adorable. So yeah, they'll be covered in my what I read in February video. Um, but they're amazing, my dad loves them too, so I really recommend them. Um, I also got my full set of pop in a box for February, which is awesome that I got the full set in one box. So yeah, I will be filming that tonight. And I got my February buddy box, which I will be filming about tonight too. Uh, I ate veggie tart, peas and chips. So on Friday I got the second Liz Climo book that I ordered and another set of Etsy stickers from a different shop and I got in I ate individual pizza and microchips and then for pudding I had chocolate sponge and custard. Friday was a bad day for me. I was struggling a bit in my head so I didn't I wasn't really very happy on Friday. But um because well, part of it was wanting to create this picture, um, but because the Illustration Friday got the new keyword up, which is hat. So, but I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. So I struggled a bit. And then on Saturday the 13th, I stayed in bed and actually read, I read this book. That I had to read it in one sitting, I picked it up. It's like I was well, at first was I had my Kindle, oh, I'm bored, call me that, I'm bored, bored. And I clicked on this book, uh, and then once I started the first page, I read it all the way through. And then it's a heartbreaking book, it's called We Used to Be Kings, and it's heartbreaking, it's traumatic. And I totally burst into tears when I completed it. So it was very traumatic, but a very good book. So uh, the food, we had veg, I had, well, we have, sometimes I get my own food and then sometimes we have family dinner. So I had veggie tart, peas, onions, mashed potato, which is amazing, I love mashed potato, soup sponge and a little bit of ice cream. We need to get some more ice cream in. And also I need to get some rocket lilies because that was on that programme the other day. Um, back in time it's like I forget what it's called now because it's not about the food but it's this back in time program where this family goes to literally their house is redecorated for each decade and it was the 70s that we just saw and, uh, and he had a rocket lolly from the ice cream van so I really want rocket lollies now so yeah then on the Sunday I read it we'd I figured out what I wanted to do for the illustration Friday um, hat keyword picture and I drew me cuddling Josh Widdicombe. Because my, I started getting dreams um, um, non particularly requested dreams my brain started filtering through dreams of me hanging around with Josh Ridico and then I just fell in love with him because my brain does that sometimes sometimes it's um, sometimes I summon up the peeps the specific people I want to see in my dreams but a few weeks ago my brain decided I was going to hang out with Josh Widdicombe in my dreams and it was awesome, a very awesome choice by my brain because I fell in love and so I got one of my crushes so I decided to draw me and um, cuddling Josh Widdicombe with me with a hat on. I had two other ideas for hat but I wasn't sure, I wasn't totally confident about them. So I drew the Josh Widdicombe and I drew and I put like the doge meme like I put many cuddles, much much crush, Josh Widdicombe, like much plaid because he's like, he's just very plaidy, a very plaidy representation. 
So on the Sunday it was Valentine's Day. Uh, I didn't get a Valentine. Um, and I sort of, because I stayed up doing my um, illustration Friday artwork, I sort of slept a lot on Sunday. But it was really awesome because in my dream world, in my dream world, it was like a club and it was like um, some of my artscape friends and me and Joshua had to go and we were all at art club and doing art and it was really fun. We were just all doing art at art club and say like, we should request this room for art club every week and it was really really fun so I had a good, good time on Sunday albeit like in my unconscious dream world it was really fun. So the webcomic I did on the Sunday was number 48 it was um it wasn't it wasn't going to be a valentine theme comic but then i got a visual of the complete thing what i could do in my head and so it's called it's number 48 and it's called i can't help falling in love with and it's about how all through my life since i was little i've always had crushes on people and they sort of tried to bust the myth of, because there's a really weird myth amongst some people that autistic people don't feel love. And it, that's just so untrue. And it's like, we have to prove that we feel love. So there's people who have done films about people feeling love that are, art are autistic. It's like, why do we have to prove this to NTs? It's like we have to prove things that prove that we're human to neurotypicals and it's like why these neurotypicals have got some sort of weird problem so that's what my comic is about and I broke I did a bit of I breaking the fourth wall with my comic so that's on my blog Um reminder my blog autistic in a space dot wordpress dot com so a uh, food diary i ate coffee and cornflakes and then we had fish chips and mushy peas which is well it's not homemade homemade but it's like the frozen pieces of fish that are in a box from tasco and that kind of thing so my graph of the week is that so it sort of it was a, a bit lower and it dropped on friday but then went up again because i had quite a nice time in my dream world so that's um i've been watching a lot um they've been well bbc have got the new in the mind season but this that is in technically week seven so i'll be speaking about that more next week but it's really good and really excellent and i recommend all the programs i just wish that why it does it have to be a season and by season they mean like about five programs in a week which not really what i call a season they should have mental health programs every week and not and cover a more of a variety of mental health issues rather because this week they've had manic depression and um, postnatal depression and programs about suicide they need to broadly open the whole lot of mental health issues i'd like to see more programs like about dissociative identity disorder and personality disorders and things like that i want to see more there's just not enough there's more it needs to be more and when there's a, a good documentary called brain by david um, with david eagleman and they're really good and explains the brain and stuff and well there's some slight bits of cliche when they do the optical illusion bit and it's like every brain program does those and which gets a bit tiring but it is really good but i wish they do want like about autism because because it's like okay this brain does this like yeah but how is that comparison to having an autistic brain 
that I wish they'd do more programs like that, that would be really interesting. So yeah, and I still haven't quite figured out how to work out my water intake section because my milk bowl that I have my cereal in, I've been counting milk, but I've been counting milk as two and I have a milk bowl about that big and it's nearly to the brim with milk. So I assume that's like maybe two or three and a coffee, so that's one tick. And then a glass of juice is one tick. But like how many ticks is one of these kind of thing? I don't know, understand how to use the water tracker because I don't know what unit we are measuring. So I don't technically know what unit one of these is. So that's a bit difficult. But yeah, that was my week six in my planner. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Yay.